Good morning, John. Morning, Clinton. Oh, it's a beautiful morning out here. Yes. Uh, looking at some soybeans. Uh -huh. I guess you found some soybean rust. Yeah, we do. We have a good looking soybean crop this year across the state, but unfortunately last week we did find some soybean rust. Uh, finally move into the state here this year uh, in three locations in uh, eastern and southeastern Oklahoma. So is, is that a typical disease that producers are going to find in this state? No, it's not. It's, an, it's actually an invasive disease. It came from uh, the uh, uh, China and uh, Japan and uh, Australia moved into South Africa and South America and, and four years ago it found its way into the United States. It's hard for growers to identify so the uh, USDA has a, uh, a program for monitoring for soybean rust in the different soybean producing states. In Oklahoma we have 10 monitoring sites I and mean, last year we just found it right before the first freeze in late October, but this year we found it in the third week in September. Okay. Okay. How severe is it uh, for yields? Is it, is it, will it really affect our plants? It can knock the yield back 50% if the plants get defoliated before the, before the pods fill. Now we're at a kind of a late stage in soybean development this year. Many of the soybeans that are early maturing or that were planted in, uh, in April are, have already been harvested, but we have a large bulk of our acreage that are planted with later maturing or full season uh, maturity groups, group five or group six soybeans that were planted in June and early July. And some of those are still vulnerable. Okay. But we need to look, whenever we're doing this, we need to look right. at the maturity. And, yeah, and we need to check what growth stage we're at before we even get concerned about rust. If we're at this growth stage where we're at here, these are uh, group five beans that were planted in uh, in early June. So these are basically almost full. You can see these pods, uh, are, uh, those beans are almost touching, so these, this would be at the R5 growth stage. Okay. Late R5, almost R6. At R6, we no longer have to worry about soybean rust uh, affecting yield. We, we found the rust in two fields that had, were at the R4 growth stage. So that would be before we even feel a small pod, a small seed in that pod. Okay. That would be R4. So uh, growers that have fields in those counties and surrounding counties in eastern Oklahoma at R4 would definitely want to consider putting on a fungicide for controlling rust. As far as uh, fungicides to use, are there any that you recommend? Well, we think that soybean rust is already present in the fields and there's two groups of fungicides that are, in, at least in those counties in eastern Oklahoma, and there's two groups of fungicides that we have registered on soybeans for soybean rust control. One would be a strobilurin fungicide such as Headline or uh, Quadris, um, and another one would be a, uh, a, a DMI or Triazole fungicide such as Folicure, Tilt, uh, Domark, Topguard. But the DMIs tend to do better where rust is al already present in the field. Okay. Is there uh, anything producers can do maybe next year uh, to prepare for this or is it just something you need to watch for and monitor? No, we just need to watch for it and monitor it because the, the rust doesn't overwinter here in Oklahoma. It only uh, overwinters below the freeze line. We, we'll keep uh, checking for rust each year and let the producers know when they need to worry about it. All right. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Okay, Clinton.